Hey friends, it's Winnie, your host with Needles Embroidery. Thank you so much for watching today's episode. I have something really fun to show you guys today. It is time at my house for us to be getting out our, all of our Christmas decorations. So, among them are our Christmas stockings. And this year I am not going to be getting out just the regular Christmas stockings that you hang on a mantle. I am actually going to be getting out these little cutesy guys right here. All right, how precious are these? Look at that. Creative Medley did it again. These little guys are on their website at creativemedley.com and a few months ago I did a tutorial on a peacock. This guy right here. The owner of creativemedley.com contacted me this month and was like, hey, you want to do another tutorial for us? This time I want you to do a tutorial on a Christmas stocking. I'm like, um, yes, <laughs> absolutely. I'd be more than happy to do it. So today I got into my office, no prep work whatsoever, and knocked this little guy out. Okay, it took me 15 minutes with my business name at the top, fun little ribbon hook okay I even added a pretty pattern fabric on the back no time at all 15 minutes without any of this extra stuff it took 12 there was no extra cutting for me no having to switch colors out or anything like this so if you have a 4x4 5x7 uh, 6.5 by 11 7 7x11 7 11, or 8x11 hoop you are able to get this little guy right here and put it on your machine. Single needles, multi-needles, you name it, it is easy to do. You can even do it with just one color. That's right. Black is all that I really used. I did have a tack down stitch that, and a placement stitch that was in a different color, but that was because my machine's already set up to do a different needle for my tack down and placement stitches. Otherwise, it would have just been saw black, from start to finish. So super easy for single needle machines like a lot of you ladies out there. And let's jump right into the tutorial. All right, I am going to begin this little doodle it by making my, my fabric sandwich. And I am going to start by placing this scrap piece of batting down. This is just gonna give it a little bit of extra volume to it and some cushion. This fabric doesn't even, this batting doesn't even fit my 5x7 frame. However, I am just going to be using what I have on hand. If you want, if you have, if you also want to use like scrap pieces but it doesn't completely cover your 5x7 frame, you can use this no-show mesh and this stabilizer is perfect because it gives you the security that you need without stretching. It doesn't stretch and it's not going to add bulk to your embroidery item. So this is a great investment if you if you want to find it at your local embroidery shop. This um, this piece of course doesn't fit my embroidery hoop either. So I'm just going to do without it today. Later I'm going to be making 4x4 stockings for my pre-K kids and thought this would be a great little scrap piece to use in the 4x4 frame. So I'm just going to put this down, fit it in there as best as I can. I'm going to take my cotton muslin. Get that dog hair out of there and lay this right on top. Now, it is not washed and this is not has not been ironed. But once I put my hoop in there, it's going to straighten everything out. I am going to stand up and apply some pressure to this. Make sure that it's snug in there. Now, my embroidery hoop is too snug, so I'm going to lift it up before I break it. You do not want to do this and break your hoop. Just kind of back out just a little bit. Go back in and apply some pressure. 
Lay that on top. Go back to applying pressure. I, sn I snug the top part first and then I apply pressure to the bottom. Still too snug. See how it just kind of took all those wrinkles right out? Okay, we're ready to put this in the embroidery machine. I already have my item loaded into my machine. Just gonna place that right in place and hit start. It's going to do the tack down stitch, which um, if you only had little pieces of this or pre-cut muslin, you would use the, the tack down stitch But since I have a full piece, I'm just going to go ahead and put it in place. Okay, here it's doing the tack down stitch, and then it's going to go straight into the little snowman and snowflakes. I love that this image has a triple stitch on it so it's a nice and thick bold stitch line so that it really makes it look like a coloring page at the very end. It took no time at all to stitch out in my machine from start to finish it was 12 minutes and then at the very end on the next segment I'm going to show you I decided to add my business name at the very top. I thought that was a really cute touch to do a business name especially for like thank you gifts or you know something maybe the child's name at the top that can just be added in be, right before you do your design so the snowman is all stitched out now the design is going to stitch out a few snowflakes these snowflakes took no time at all to make with their triple stitch Okay, now it's going to go do the top border of the stocking and then my name. So I decided that I didn't want my machine to trim my jump stitches because I didn't want to take the time for it to stop and go with the jump stitches. So I actually went back later and clipped those away. Here I'm adding a ribbon using the tack down stitch provided in the design. If I could go back and change it, I would use a shorter ribbon, but it really turned out to be okay. And now the backing fabric, I just used a really pretty fabric that corresponded with the theme, I felt like. Now that it's done, it left an opening at the very back um, at the bottom of the boot for me to flip it inside out. So I'm going to go ahead, take it out of my hoop, cut it, cut it around it using a half inch raw edge, and then I'm going to flip it inside out. Grab my scissors. All right, all I'm going to be doing is cutting this away. I turned it where I could actually get to it better. And I'm just gonna start cutting. I am not going to be cutting so close to the tack down stitch that it just kind of unravels on me. I'm going to uh, cut it maybe 5 eighths of an inch or maybe a half inch from from the tack down stitch. So, and if I need less, I can actually cut it away later. But I'm afraid to cut too much of it away 
and then it just unravel on me. My other ones didn't do that, but you never know. So I am actually leaving a little tongue to tuck into the piece when I flip it the right side out. We're going to do some, a little stuffing with this and turn this in, cute little thing into a pillow. Okay, take that, recycle. This can be used as stuffing. These things can be used as stuffing or a small applique. Don't throw pieces away. Kids like to play with scraps. Okay, roll up my muslin, use it for later. Okay, big reveal. I love this part. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to cut my corner sound. This will help it lay a little bit flatter. Take those and go away. Okay, I'm taking my thumb all the way to the corner here and pushing in on the other side. Doing the same thing over here. Pushing in and starting to flip. I'm going to take a paintbrush to help flip everything out. Oh my goodness, this is going to be so cute. There we go, keep flipping. Just using using the end of that paintbrush. It's kind of sounds like it's cracking on me. Yeah. Just to flip everything out and crisp up those corners. Okay, I really like the batting in here. It gave it some really nice cushion to it. And yeah, we're going to be fluffing this up with some batting and everything. Or not batting, but some stuffing. But I just like that little extra. Okay, there we go. I am going to trim my jump stitches. I, At the last moment, I decided, you know what, I want my, my business name on this. So, I'm going to hang it on my tree. So, let's get stuffing. I have an old pillow, and I use this all the time for stuffing. They're $3 at Walmart. And just save money wherever you can. You know, there's no reason to actually buy the name brand stuff when the exact same stuff's in your pillow. So, just start stuffing away. And that is all there is to it, guys. How easy was that? It took 15 minutes in my machine, literally from start to finish. I had pretty much no prep work. I just decided that, hey, today is the day that I'm going to film this and got in here and did it. It's done. Um, I did decide to add a few features to this little stocking and the first one of course is the backing you do not have to add a, a pattern backing I just chose to do that to add a, a little bit extra dimension to it the batting on the inside is also an addition to the project it doesn't need to have one but it just gives a little bit more stability to the stocking it holds up really nicely and also, the ribbon, there is a setting or a tack down stitch where you can add your ribbon. So, and I just happened to have this cute little chevron ribbon for the holidays. So, super cute project. I think next time I would put my ribbon at an angle so it could actually like 
it would hang vertically like this and then my stocking would hang at, at an angle, you know. But live and learn, my next ones will be better. Super fast, super cute little doodle it stocking. Thank you again, Anne, from a creativemedley.com for sharing this file with me. I hope I did your little snowman justice. He is precious. So I can't wait to do another tutorial for you guys. If you haven't already, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And be sure to, cl to click the subscribe button down below. Leave comments, questions, concerns, anything like that in the comment section below. Have a wonderful holiday, guys. And be sure to check these guys out. They are so stinking cute and fun. Add anything at the top. Little personalized name for your family member or your business name as thank you gifts. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episodes with these really cute, fast doodlets from a creativemedley.com. Leave me your pictures down below and also head over to our Facebook group page and leave the comments and pictures below of what you thought about today's tutorial. If you like today's tutorial, give me a big thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our tutorials. Have a great day and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye! You guys are still watching? Guys, there are doodlets to be made. You can make them for any reason, any occasion. Make some today. Send me your pictures.